Welcome on to the next edition of Try with Coach Perry. My name is Brad. We've got our triathlon coach Rudolf Nordeer with us once again. And today we're talking about swim stroke. Uh, and in particular, if we should be worrying about uh, counting strokes and uh, how do we improve uh, stroke rates and all of those sorts of things. So, uh, Rudolf, welcome on to the video once again. Nice to catch up. Hi there, Brad. Thanks for having me again. Rudolf, stroke rate. Uh, we've obviously spoken at length about sort of correcting stroke and, and getting the technique right, but how important is stroke rate in triathlon training? So in triathlon training, stroke rate, that is basically a guideline for you to see if you are shortening your stroke while you're swimming and if you get tired. So for example, let's say you're doing an 800 meter straight. You can take your stroke rate, count how many strokes you take for the first length, and then let's say after 400 meters you take count again and then the last length you count it again, and then you can see if you are shortening your stroke. So it's a nice thing to count how efficiently you are still swimming in your strokes. So for an example, if you swim in a 50 meter pool and you take 40 strokes on the first length, 42 halfway through the 800, but you take 46 towards the end, then you know, listen, you're giving the same amount, you're giving more strokes for the same amount of length. That means it's more energy that you are wasting while, while you swim. So for my, my advice is, Yes, you focus on counting your strokes, but not every length. As you do three, four K swim sets, that is quite a few lengths that you are counting your stroke rates. So my advice would be in the beginning of your set, count your stroke rates, and then towards the middle and the end of a set, count it again and see where you are increasing or decreasing it. Obviously, the less strokes you take, the less energy you take, and the faster you'll swim. But then on the other side of the coin is also you can take – less strokes by gliding more in the front but you swim slower so it's a combination of swimming fast with the least amount of strokes so those two go hand in hand and i know a lot of smart watches garmin swim to and all of them have got something called swolf which is swimming golf which is your stroke the amount of strokes you take plus the amount of time that you take so towards a session the lower your swolf is the better it will be in general for swimming Rudolf, can you touch on on the the swolf score i've seen it around as well and, and i've got a garmin and i've seen it but I, i'm not 100 percent sure how what it is and how it works and and, and funnily enough that was the follow-up question uh in in the forum as well with regards to stroke rate is it something we should be trying to improve obviously i mean you you, you say it's s golf or swolf and and with golf you want to try and get your score as low as possible is it the same with with this when it comes to your stroke rate Yes, it is the same principle. Your soft score is your stroke, the amount of strokes you take, plus the time that you take. So the lower the score, the better it is. Either that you are decreasing in speed, which means you're going faster, or that your stroke rate is going slower. So there's two sides of that coin. It's either your stroke rate is going lower, which means it lowers your soft score, or you're swimming faster with the same stroke rate, which also means your soft score is going lower. So my personal advice is I don't really look at my soft towards the end of the swim. I just do the counting in the beginning of a set. If, for example, if your main set is 10 300s for the day, count your stroke for the first 300, the fifth 300, and then 7, 8, and 9. Also count it there and then see what your stroke rate is. And also you can feel when you're starting to shorten your stroke rate towards the end of the stroke. So it's a bit of a combination. It's a nice tool to have to analyze between the swims, especially if you're in a phase where you're focusing on correcting your stroke or increasing efficiency of your stroke then you can compare days but then also do the same set over and over again to make it the data more reliable yeah and it's quite interesting the way you described it because obviously if you increase your stroke rate you as in putting in more strokes per length uh, obviously that's going to decrease your or not necessarily it, it, it might help you swim faster which will decrease your your, your swell score or it's a case of producing more power out of out of in the water basically so you're swimming faster but using less strokes which is better is it a case of increasing their stroke rate or is it a case of trying to build that power uh, in your swim stroke it's, it's a bit of both. It's like running and cycling in cadence as well. A higher cadence versus lower cadence. It is a difficult thing to say. It also depends, especially we swimming open water, also what the sea or the lake is doing, what the chop is doing. So you need to be able to adjust your stroke. If it's a choppy swim or if it's like a dam swim, then you can have a nice longer swim stroke. But if it's a very choppy swim, then a shorter stroke would be more efficient. So you kind of have to play around with it. I know if you want to increase your stroke rate normally swim just with fins so that will increase your stroke rate and if you want to have more powerful strokes put on paddles and practice some pulling as that will simulate overgear work on the bike 
Awesome, Rudolf. As always, great to catch up. Hey, don't forget, if you want to improve your swim stroke, we've got uh, a couple of swim drills that Rudolf has put together uh, that you can download for free here on coachparry.com. All you need to do is head over to this URL, okay? It's coachparry.com forward slash swim. Uh, that's where you will get the, the, the swim strokes. Uh, you can download it there right now and, uh, yeah, use it, and hopefully it'll improve your, your swim performance as well. Rudolf, as always, great to catch up. Thanks for your time today on uh, Try with Coach Perry. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for having me.